to class. How is everybody doing? Nice to see you virtually. I hope you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to class. We have got a good one tonight. We're going to look at arms and abs. I'm going to show you all kinds of arm movements and articulations and break down how you articulate your arms and hands because those that gets tricky. And then we're going to do some ab isolation, some belly rolls, and a little bit of ab strengthening as well. So welcome everyone. And hi. Welcome. <laughs> hi everybody. I'm just making sure all the behind the scenes stuff is going on, right? Yes. Yes. And every so often I will check the comments. Um, can you tell us about yourself? Who are you? <laughs> I, oh, that's right. I'm Malia. Yes, it's me again, Malia. And I've been doing this series. Is this the third week? Yeah, I yeah. So. Okay. I'm, I'm having a great time. Yeah. I'm having a great time. And you girls and have been so wonderful to join the class. So please type in hello so we know who's here. That helps us a lot so we figure out who's around. And if you have any questions. Yep. And then um, this will eventually be on your YouTube channel. Yes. So you must make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll have all of the videos in one place. And then we'll put the link up again yeah. as, as usual. Uh, tonight's music is um, one of my favorites. I used it last week or the last class, I believe. It's uh, Beats Antique, one of my favorite bands in the world. And uh, the album is called Blind Threshold. So we'll put that in the links as well. Uh -huh. Thank you to them for letting yeah, us use it with you. their permission. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So many artists, musical artists, are being very supportive of all the online instructors. So it's become quite a little virtual community here by surprise. There, mm -hmm. Good things always come out of bad things, right? There's always something good. And yeah. um, thank you for all my students who have come back from, oh, <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm connecting with people that I haven't seen in decades, and I love that so much. So thank you to my friends that are far away and um, checking in and resurfacing, and that's wonderful. Um, also, you know the class is free. You're welcome to take it for free. If you're able, I do have a Venmo, and you're welcome to make a donation there. And I've had a few of those, which really helps cover the costs of, of doing this class and getting it all up online. Nikki's the social man, social media wizard. <laughs> so she then takes everything and posts it and tags it and makes it so you can all find it. Right. And um, it wouldn't be uh, what it is without this one. So oh. and your <laughs> contributions basically pay for her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get started with arms and abs. We're going to do a little movement. I'm going to check the comments and see okay. what's going on before we get as you get started. All right, so take your breath, stand up tall. You're probably warmed up from the warm up video. We're gonna do a little bit of arm isolation and movement, just show you a couple extra things you can do for your arms and your abs. And roll forward. This will be kind of a, a quickie warm up. And then reach high. Reach the arms up and push down like you're pushing a weight. Lift and push. Lift and push. Lift and push. Lift and push. Up and down. Two more. Good. And twist the arms over and under. As you go under, make a fist. Open the hand and then make a fist. We're just isolating tricep muscles and shoulder muscles, deltoids. Helps get them ready to go. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze. All right, turn your thumbs up, thumbs forward, rotate your arms so you're uh, palms are facing the back, thumbs are pointing down. Circle forward. Little circles. The whole arm should be tight with some tension. Circle, 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 circle. Small ones over and over and over. And flip, palms up, circle back. Michelle says her 
that direction. Over you go. Try to keep your arm as straight as you can. Your torso can move, no problem. Open up your shoulder. We're going for maximum range of motion, the biggest circle that you can make. All right, clasp your hands together. Flip them over, put your palms to the ceiling. Little squat, press up and touch the top of your head. Up, touch, up, touch. When you're up, squeeze those arms together. Oh yeah. Hello, shoulders. <laughs> Four more. And release, go behind your back, clasp your hands again, straighten your arms, lift your ribs really high, arch your back. Now stand a little more straight, release your arch, and lift, 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 lift.
say lead with your wrist, and we'll kind of get into that in a minute, right? But one way to help you lead with your wrist, sometimes it's hard to say, all right, lead with my wrist. But think about when you're going away from your body, push, like you're pushing against a wall. That will naturally lead with the heel of the hand and the wrist, so push. When you're bringing your hands towards you, pull, like you've grabbed something and you're pulling it in with your fingertips, and that will naturally lead the wrist on the inside. So think about push, pull, and that should help a lot. So take an, an arm, circle up, pull it in, now push. Pull up and in, push down and out. So see, you're still making a circle, but it's really pretty. And then, other side. Other side. Push and pull. Is it okay? Yeah. Get all good. All right, now both hands. Push, pull, come in. Right side, left side. So you're making two circles. Push away, pull in. Push away and pull in. This is almost like pedaling a bicycle. If you think about it, if you're pedaling, right? But you're pedaling sideways. <laughs> Your arms are pedaling. Now take it in front of you. Push, pull. Push and pull. This is a beautiful move. Now make it big. Keep it in a circle, right? We're talking about circular motion. So see from the side, each arm is making a circle, leading with the wrist. So I'm pushing, if, if they're both working, I'm pushing away from myself. As soon as I come up, I'm lifting, right? So push and pull, push, Lift and pull. Circular motion. Your palms are facing down. You can also do this movement with your palms facing up. So just turn your hands over. So in this case, you would be pushing with the back of your hand and you'd be pulling with the wrist and the palm, like you're pulling it towards you. So push out and pull in. Think about keeping your palm more flat, all right? So when you're, when you're coming in here, see it just stays flat. Try not to curl it in, right? It looks like a little creature, right? So <laughs> little cute little animal of some kind. So keep your palm more flat and the palm faces up. All right, let's go back to the circle on either side. This one here. So we get into the shoulder. What you're gonna do now is go behind your head. So push out, push, oh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> push out with the heel of the hand, lift up, pull in and up, go behind your head. Pull with the wrist. Now push with the palm. Pull with the wrist. Push with the palm. Check in with your posture. Tall bodies, ribs high, shoulders down. Other side. Push out, pull in. Let's go behind the head. And this one I feel is not as flexible on mine. So you might, I, I feel like I want to duck to get my arm behind me. So that tells me I need to really get this arm loosened up a bit more and a little more flexibility, right? So you might feel that as well. Like in the back here, it's touching my head every time. My other one is going right behind with clearance, no problem. This one is banging me in the back of the head. So that tells me something about my shoulder. All right, so now both together behind the head. 
Now alternate your crossing. Put a hand in front. Now the other hand. Switch. 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 This is good. Oh, this feels nice. Try to keep your chin up. So take this movement. One goes behind the head, and one goes in front of the body. So the one that's not so flexible for me <laughs> is my left. So I'm going to let that one go in front. All right, so. Um, before we do that, can yeah. we actually pull up and do the double hand? Oh, yeah, you want to see, see that from, from, the, from the back. So yeah. here, you're going to cross, and I'll cross the other way. And then the other way. Yeah. So it looks kind of cool. It's a, it's a really beautiful move. So a variation. We're coming up. Now, take the hand, whatever hand you want. We'll do it both ways, but you get to pick right now. The good hand, whatever hand is more flexible, is going to go behind your head. The other one is going to go in front of your head. And then we're going to open. So one goes in front, and one goes behind. So you're still making a circle. Up, around, now fold it and, and kind of split your head there in the middle between your hands and then press. Pull, split, and push. All right, so if you want to, do it the other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm flat with flowers. Yeah. I need a little more work on this side. All right, so. <laughs> what, what would you do to, to open that up a little bit? More so, be, like what? Well, to, well to, I have something specific, right? So to open that particular shoulder girdle, you would hold your elbows, take the arms up here, you're right about here, and then you're gonna push your shoulder, your elbows back, back, back. So you have to open up that shoulder. The trick is on this one, you don't want to arch your back and move your butt. You want to make sure that you're holding those abs tight, right? And then take, you know, both arms, but I'm going to take my stiff one, pull it behind your head and do a tricep stretch. So you fold it here, right there. Use your other hand to pull and reach right down the middle of your spine. So it's fabulous for your triceps, but it also really opens up that shoulder. And then the one we did before. This one here, not necessarily lifting, but just hold. So those are all good ones. Because people have stiff shoulders. It's very common. Very common. Especially right now, everybody. Yeah, I know, we're all like this all day long. <laughs> all right, so let's try. Circle up. Flip the head and push out. Now try the other way. I can even do it. <laughs> and then back to the first way. And switch. Good. All right, so let's say we were doing some movements, right? We're gonna do the arm wave next. Um, but I'm gonna throw it into a combination. So let's say, I'll break it down, but we're gonna throw it in this one first. Let's say we're doing arm waves, snake arms, because this is in our choreography. We're working on a choreography right now. We're going up, 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 up with arm waves, and then we split and do this move. It's really pretty, and I think, which way do we turn, this way? Yeah. You can go with the, whatever arm is opening. Yeah, okay. Whatever so, arm is opening. Let's throw a turn in there. If you took the, one of the last classes, you remember the crossover turn? Cross your foot over, turn your shoulders, put your weight on the back foot, right? Cross over, turn your shoulders all the way around, put your weight on the back foot. While this move is happening. So, you're here, as you cross your arms, you cross your foot. As you push out, you rotate and do your turn. Quite pretty. Which, I'm um, not that wrong. So the arm, it's, it? it's the one that's in back. So my right arm, so I'm um, 
The foot crossing goes with the arm that is in front. Ah. The direction you turn is the arm that's in back. Because we wanted to, see as you turn, you want the elbow to, we didn't want to turn into the elbow, we wanted to turn to the outside. So when we're here, the front arm opening to my right means I'm going to turn to my right. So for this particular one, lift up, left leg cross, left arm in front, circle and open with your spin. Good, did it work? <laughs> up, cross, feet in hand, open and spin. Aha, uh -huh. all right, so throw an arm wave in there. Cross and spin. Good. 
All right, so basic arm weight, that is it, right? And we're gonna attempt an alternation. <laughs> See how this works. All right, yes. so pick a side. You have to do both, so it doesn't matter. When we are just dancing along, I don't always do my shoulder, so you won't always see me like this with the shoulder lifting first. It's not always the look that you want. It does move things more. So sometimes I want to be just floating, right? And I don't want motion here. So I'll leave that up to you. Shoulder can happen or not. I'm gonna just go, go with my elbow. Elbow, now the wrist, middle knuckle, middle knuckle of the finger, now, extend. While this one is floating down, the next one is going. Elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, open. Elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle. Elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle. Try it. <laughs> All right, one thing that happens a lot is sticking your hand to your body. So erase that, because when you move your elbow, your hand is already away. So if you do this, it again takes on a different shape. <laughs> and then um, sometimes we can't get out of our hands, right? So we do this. And so we end up with these two um, tractor arms lifting dirt and moving them. <laughs> Here we go, and we jump it. Pick up the dirt, and we jump it. <laughs> so we don't need this, okay? So I know, and I know it's hard because you're thinking lift. Well, your hand does that by itself. You have to let it go. So elbow, hand straight down. Wrist, hand is still straight down. Middle knuckle of the hand, middle knuckle of the finger. Now opposite. Elbow, hand is straight down. Wrist, elbow, hand is still straight down. Knuckle, knuckle, and there you are. So I recommend that you just start really slow, like anything else, <laughs> right? And you can also do it smaller, and that makes things a little easier. You can do it in front, and you can do it up above. There's all kinds of positions. Once you get this baby, you can go all over the place with it. We're just going to kind of concentrate on this, this one right here. So let's do our combo again with the arm wave, the splitting of the head, and the crossover turn now that our arm waves are better. So up we go, up, 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 split, and turn any way you want. <laughs> There. <laughs> Did you turn the same way or the other way? I don't even know. I don't even the same way. <laughs> All right, one more time. Up, 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 split, circle the arms around and out. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, I'm going to show you now um, arm ripples and hand ripples. These are really pretty, but they take a lot of muscle um, and a lot of practice. So I'm going to show you this little technique and a little drill. Uh, um, sorry, can we do yeah. snake arms facing this way real sure. quick so yeah. we can get the back the back yeah. Let's see, can we see? There we are. There we go. There's a lot of contraction back here in your uh, rhomboids. So, and see how my chest is lifted and my shoulders are down. Now, if I've decided to use the shoulders, then it looks more like that. Pretty. Yeah. Both of them are beautiful. Really beautiful. So I don't have a favorite. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Arm, uh, hand waves, arm waves, ripples of the fingers. This takes a little bit of practice. So what, and, and also it transfers into your arm waves too, because I was saying knuckle, knuckle. So this is our first trick. You're going to split your hand in half with the, your largest knuckles and make a little temple there, a little pyramid, right? That position. And then you're going to lay that flat and you're going to lift the middle knuckle of your fingers. And it looks like a little cat paw, right? <laughs> right? Kind of. So both hands, make a cat paw. 
right? So you have to bend just this middle knuckle of the fingers. <laughs> Get closer. <laughs> All right, so right there. See? Just the middle knuckle of the fingers. So you have a little paw, right? So it's middle knuckle of the hand, middle knuckle of the finger, extend. Hand, finger, extend. Hand, finger, extend. It's a bit tricky. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. So put your hands parallel, two inches apart. So take the middle knuckle, you're gonna, we're gonna learn about arch and contract of the hand. But what happens is, so, so I say arch and contract, right? See that? What happens is this. <laughs> People wave instead. <laughs> they do a finger instead, I say, right? <laughs> contract your hand and down go That's the fingers. Wave. And it's like, okay, we're so waving. We're waving. So <laughs> we can't wave. And so if we put our hands parallel, you can't wait because they're not they can't touch each other all right so put them parallel now arch the middle of your hand and look what happens the, the the middle knuckles touch now contract and you make a diamond right but you don't drop your fingers and wave all right so parallel hands arch contract arch contract arch contract arch contract now it'll start to take shape. Arch, contract. As long as you do this in a parallel position, you're gonna train your fingers to stop waving, right? So let's try arch, contract, and then contract the fingers. So arch, contract, contract. So you go from arching to a diamond to a cat's paw. Right? <laughs> I like I like these metaphors. Yeah, it works for me. Alright, so we arch, diamond, cat paw. Arch, diamond, cat paw. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, whoop, I got ahead of myself. Two, three. Huh. Yeah, we're getting work. Right. Alright, so the next step is to one, two, three without stopping and put a wave in there, all right? So, so we go from one, two, three. Now keep it flowing. One, two, three. 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 Arch, contract, cat ball. Arch, contract, cat ball. That's a mouthful. Who thought you would be saying that? I know. Twice. Only, only we understand. What, are we, what? Diamonds and cat balls? What? So, but you have it, right? Hopefully you have it. So, now the trick is further apart, but remember, parallel. If, you, if you're in the mirror, you do this in the mirror, and you see your fingers dropping, and you start, hello, you start waving, uh uh. That can't happen, right? Yeah. Always parallel. So wave, arch, contract, contract. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. Now parallel, but ah, horizontal. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. It's a beautiful move. So, 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 so pretty. I love this move. So, whether you have it or not, it'll come. You'll get it. It's just a matter of when your fingers feel like doing it, right? Depends on what you do for a living and how strong and how coordinated your fingers are. It does build a lot of strength and a lot of coordination really fast because how often do you do a cat's paw? <laughs> I don't do that one very often. So, let's take it in some different... Um, direction so just so you can see so bring your arms up all right now start with the arch contract contract and bring those hands down down and then here wave do the arm wave up all right so we'll come up here back to back turn your hands and wave so it's like a little ripple and sometimes we call this a finger ripple or a hand ripple Right, so up, crawl, or 
touch and ripple. It's really beautiful. Also, you can do it across the front. So, cross your hands. Now, ripple, 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 and open. You can take one ripple across. And then one. And ripple across. Again. So this combines the circle motion. Remember, our arms move in circles. So we have that circle thing going on, right? So do your circle. And then ripple the last portion of it. Circle. And ripple. Circle. Between the arm, the snake arms, the arm waves, and the ripples, you have some excellent technique and to start getting creative with. Alright, so a couple of other things um, with your arms, a little less um, muscular. You can make um, some cool shapes with your arms. So one, one shape that I really like is the, an urn. So you know, think about an old-fashioned clay urn. It's got a big barrel, and then a neck, and then a little spout, like a water jug maybe, okay? So picture that, you've got a big base, it comes in, and then there's a little spout, okay? So if you trace that urn, circle your hands, trace the bottom, here's the neck, there's the spout. Quite pretty. So do your circle, now in, neck, and out. And around, circle, and in, cross, out. So it looks even prettier if you trace the bottom of the urn, trace the circle, and instead of it, you can meet here, like I did, or you can cross and go out. Quite nice. Beautiful. Yeah, isn't that pretty? So here, and then, and then, and then. Now try this one. Just do the crossing. That's an oldie but goodie. <laughs> really pretty. So bring it in and cross. Now go up, now ripple down. Yeah, and bring it in and cross. And ripple down. Beautiful. Really pretty. Pretend you're holding some candles. You know, the little votives, I think they're called, Goldives. right? Or a little cup of water. In fact, um, when I was performing this dance before, I would practice with small glasses of water uh, because I can, you can't drop them, right? So I had a lot of puddles on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of puddles. Water glasses and outside. <laughs> but yeah, so but we don't have candles. We don't need them right now. But the idea is that your palms stay horizontal with the uh, palm facing up. All right, so pick your strong hand, your right hand and your left hand. We're gonna do one at a time. What you're gonna do is put your palm to the outside. Now turn it to the inside. Go under your arm. Turn your palm ba backward. Straighten your arm to the side. Come around the front of you, go over your head. Keep circling and ah, you end up right where you are. Isn't that cool? It's a really cool movement. All right, so around under your arm. Open, in front of the head. If you trace this shape, it's kind of, is it a figure eight? It is. Kind of, it's a figure eight. That's what you. Let's call it a figure eight. It's a beautiful, beautiful move. Now, if you don't have a candle, you don't have to keep your palms so straight, but it looks better if your palm's not flipping around, right? So just keep it in the range without moving it too much. All right, ready? The hand is not as good. Under, so we start here, palm is to the outside, right? Tilt it in, underneath your arm, behind you, to the side, around in front of you, over your head, back to your waist. Go out, underneath the back, around in front. Trace that figure eight. It's a brain teaser, really. 
don't uh, stop this. You're, if, once you start here and you start circling, don't think about where you're going. Just move your arm because it can only, it doesn't, it probably won't go the other way, right? It really, just get it on, get it on the track, push it and let it go because it's going to follow this track by itself. All right, now, your good side, not so good side. There you go. Together. Woo! <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right. Here's a fun one. Reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Forward, around behind you, in front of your head, outside, under your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think, but what I do want you to think, just try one arm. Take, do one, the, the first one. Now pay attention where you're going. It's a racetrack, right? Now follow that racetrack in reverse. Just drive the whole track in reverse. See, it's not so bad. But look what a cool look it has. Isn't this wonderful? It's so pretty. All right, other side. Around you go the track one time. Now... Reverse. Both sides. Big figure eight. I am totally spilling my water. <laughs> but that's okay. There. Woohoo! That was good. That, that was great. That was really, really good. All right, one last thing, and then we'll do a little some, some app conditioning. Get yourself some chopsticks, okay? Hand position. This is, everybody's got things going on with their hands, but ideally for, for dance, you want your hand to be looking relaxed, but not sloppy. It's got to have, see, there's got to be some strength there. So the exercise we did where we are arching the middle of our hand, comes in handy. I tend to do like that. I don't do all the way like this because that's a little too stiff, but I do a little pressure. I do do a small arch with the middle of my hand. Your middle finger should naturally fall. So let that fall. Now do a small arch with the, with the uh, middle of your hand, right? So you see there's a little bit of tension. Now let me show you the other side. <laughs> there. So it looks graceful, right? It is, <laughs> hopefully, in this case. But there is, a, there is a look, right? Some fingers curl, some fingers open, some people have mitts, right? They're like this all the time. So this is what's, what we're gonna do. Um, that middle finger drops, connected to the ring finger. So we're gonna let both fingers drop. And that is even, look, that's even prettier. But you have to think about it. You have to think, all right, I'm gonna push these two middle fingers together and they're gonna go as one. So do that. Put your chopstick in there. Oh yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> so, here we are. Try an arm way. So, see how the chopstick Feel it, how it's, straighten your fingers. When you straighten your fingers with the chopstick, you have to arch the middle of your hand. You don't have a choice, right? You have to. So you're also, you're also gonna get used to lengthening this tendon here on your palm, right? So push down and let's just move. And also it teaches you to keep your fingers long because you're holding that chopstick with pressure, right? Just move right onto anything specific. I just want you to get used to it. And resist the urge to grab hold of it, right? Because that's not it. <laughs> Don't hold on to it. That's not a good look. Yeah, not a good look. It's like, here, is this pretty? Okay, I got it now. <laughs> Keep the fingers long. What happens to me is my baby finger wants to hold on. So keep it long. Hold it with pressure. And just go through a couple of moves 
Don't do the candle thing. You'll poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> don't do that one. Safety first. Yeah, safety first. <laughs> but I'm just kind of randomly moving. So I think you'll kind of like this. It's a good trainer. It doesn't have to be a chopstick, but just anything that's straight. Use a pen, right? Yeah, you can use a pen. Just anything that's straight and a little lighter than your hand will work. And you're putting it over the top of your two middle fingers and underneath your ring and your pinky. And then you're practicing. Now feel that. Release the sticks. Now feel that. You can, it's still there. It's still there. Like, oh, okay. This is, ah, this is how it's supposed to be. And all of a sudden, ooh, yes. <laughs> Dancing is fabulous. All right, so what are those? Yeah, these are all really good tips. Let's finish up with a little bit of ab conditioning and back into our um, some belly rolls, some abs. So square your feet, arms in second, lock down your hips. Let me get a song shift here. Maybe. Arms in second, hips locked down, and we're just going to slide our ribs left and right and wake up the abdominals. Good. Okay, so you can either have your hands on your hips or you can have them in second. Either one is fine. Your arms might be tired. This is quite a arm, this is quite the arm class. So they can look at what you're doing. I did. <laughs> we had a lot happen tonight. You're going to have really great arms. Yeah, we're going to feel good. All right, so now. Stand straight, lean back just until you feel your abs grasp, right? Tighten your glutes, squeeze your glutes, legs firm, and slightly without arching your back. No, don't lean back this way, just bend right there, okay? You feel it? They should be firm, they're holding you. They keep you from falling backwards. With this position, do a half circle. Half circle. Squeeze those abs. There you go. Nice and tight. All right, so let's find these muscles. We have upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, the rectus abdominis, big long column of muscles, right? For what we do, we divide it into three parts. There aren't three parts, it's all together. But we're just using this section, right? For our practicing, we're going to move the whole thing, then we're gonna move it in parts, okay? So, in and out, in and out. Try to do it, uh, talk to yourself or someone so that you don't have to breathe so you're not exhaling and in inhaling with your stomach. It's a hyperventilation kind of thing. <laughs> not the best. So More try to clean. <laughs> yeah. Try to do it muscularly. So you just push everything out and then you can track. So from your pubic bone to the diaphragm is where you're working. Find all that and pull the whole thing in and then push the whole thing out. In, out, in, out. There we are. When you pull in, picture yourself, feel yourself pulling from inside. It's not from the outside pushing in, it's from the inside. It's like from your spine reaching and grabbing those muscles from the inside and pulling them into the back, right? So pull that stomach into your spine. Then, we're trying to split it. Put your, uh, whatever, if you're right-handed, put your right hand on top. If you're left-handed, put your left hand on top. Other hand on the bottom. Belly button is in the middle. Push out the lower abs. Pull those in. Push out the diaphragm. You say, what? Push and pull. One out, one in. Your hand will help. Remember, your 
brain is connected to your hands, so if it's not working, just push on it. It'll wake up. So this is the beginning of the wave. So it's kind of like the articulation in the hands with the knuckles. We do it in sections and then we try to wave it top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. So you're waving up to down, up to down, up to down, up to down. The hands will help you create that motion. If my stomach doesn't want to come, every, every day is different, right? Some days are better. Some days are not good. I just push and it helps wake things up. Now try it the other way. Pull in the bottom first and then the top and then lift your rib cage. So bottom, top, lift. Bottom, top, lift. Bottom, top, lift. One, two, three. Now wait. Bottom, top. Bottom, top. Oh. <sighs> it's a contraction from low to high. Low to high. Now try it both directions. Top to bottom, bottom to top. Top to bottom, bottom to top. Up, down. Down to up and up to down, down to and notice I'm doing a little hip release. Perfect music. <laughs> Almost there. Pay attention to your hands. Pretend you've got your chopsticks. Two more. One bonus, and shake it up. Ooh, I'm hot. I know. <laughs> yeah, don't eat before you do belly rolls. <laughs> they get stuck in there. Oh, that is That's not, not a good. Great plan. Is everybody? Right. Can everybody give thumbs up? Hot something we're <laughs> doing good. Just to double check everything is good. I see comments coming in. Hopefully, we're all on board. All right, that is what I have for you tonight. So, um, there's a, obviously there's a lot more, so I'll probably do a whole other arm thing with some more advanced moves, but I'm just trying to mix it up each time. So, um, thanks again to Beats Antique for providing our music, Blind Threshold. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Nikki, for helping. Oh, thank you for having me, thank yeah. you all. And see our next class will be Saturday, Saturday at, 6 at 6 p.m. And then we will get this video onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe. Um, Malia's YouTube channel is Malia Nelson. It's very easy to find. And yeah. there's also warm ups there. Yep, do the warm up before. And all the other classes that um, have been done are on there. Yeah, I think we're good. And that's it. Yeah. And then yeah. if you want a private lesson, you can do a private lesson. You before. can. I've learned Zoom, so I Zoom talk now. So <laughs> you talk Zoom. Zoom I talk Zoom. Talk. Yeah. And then so the other thing that, that you talk about is if you guys want to do a video and you can send it to Malia, she'll take a look. I will. And tell you. If like if you want to do the hand thing, you go, have I got it? Have I got it? <laughs> and I'll go, no, you look like a chipmunk. <laughs> or yes, you're perfect. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. For oh, coming. and then make sure you put on your notifications for live. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you know, so that, that yeah. so that you can see when things are going live. And there's a Facebook event that has all the info on all the classes. If you ever have any confusion or questions about it. All right. All right. Bye, Thank everybody. Thank you.